approach the man. Yeah, the woman is going to approach the man. I personally I don't believe in women approaching men. If a woman is interested in a guy, mm -hmm. I don't think she should approach the guy, but she should do things that will show the man she is interested so that the man can approach her. Things the woman can do. Mm. Okay, it depends. You won't really know. You won't really know what the man actually likes. But if you know what that man likes, or you can inquire from the people, that man is always with friends or something, you can ask for like the things he likes, and then you, you project such behaviors. <laughs> <laughs> things he likes. Yeah. Let's say this man loves women who dress in a certain way. Do you mean that this woman should go, you know, and uh, be who she's not? Because she wants to get to there. Yeah, just because she wants to get there. Okay, it, it, it depends. If, if you realize this man likes women who dress in a certain way and you're comfortable dressing like that because you want to get his attention, then do it. Why not? Dressing code. Dressing code. Dressing code. <laughs> when you want a guy and this guy you truly want him, you gotta do anything for him. If Pro you are comfortable doing whatever it is that he likes, do it. In research I have done, I have noticed that there are some things a woman who wants a man should do. But these things are not easy. They are risks that a woman should take. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the first one is uh, disagree with his opinions. Do you think it's right? No, no I, when, when I say opinions, I don't really mean that anything the man, say, the man says, you disagree with it. It shouldn't be that way. Because I myself, I personally don't like somebody who disagrees with everything I say. Just my opinions. Opinions are different from everyday talk, right? So is there anything, is, is there a way you can validate this? Yeah, personally I think that disagreements are very healthy. It is very healthy and normal to, to have disagreements as people. Like it, it has to happen, you just can't be a yes girl all the time. And I think when a man sees that you are able to challenge him with his opinions and the things that he views, it's actually attractive and it can create more bond and love between the two of you. Wow. Yes. Do your things and don't invite him. So when I say you do your thing and you don't invite him, what I mean is that I don't mean that uh, you come to his home and you don't tell him you are going to come. <laughs> Not every part of your life should be known to the guy. You see? So for myself personally, I had this girl back then. She used to call me every now and then. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know why, but she could call me every now and then and hey, so, I could even predict so and so is calling. So how was, how was that making you feel less attracted to her? Actually, uh, I thought it was a lot of love until I found it toxic. <laughs> <laughs> she was okay. doing it too much. Mm. So I don't need to know everything about you. Mm -hmm. What I need to know is just that which I need to know, mm. but not everything. So she was telling you about her life, everything that is happening in her life? She would call and tell me that uh, she, she took this for supper, she took that for breakfast. How does that help me each day? Lunch, breakfast, supper. <laughs> it does not help. <laughs> really, it does not. But sometimes you, you genuinely care about her and you, you want to know. You want to know what she ate or what she's doing. That's different because it is you who is asking. Oh, yes. She's not telling you. Yeah, I yeah. understand. Mm. Remember one thing. Don't appear to be needy and don't appear to be clingy. Confront him with relationship issues. Yes. Do you think it's something which should be done? Yes, I, I believe in people speaking out and expressing themselves. So that is a total 100%. I think people should be able to like confronting the guy because most of the time you see when people are in a relationship the guy most of the time he doesn't know how you want to be loved how you want to be loved or how you want to be shown love or when something offends you so when when a girl is actually able to communicate clearly to the guy that this and this is what i want it's it's attractive and it, it makes it easier for the relationship to run because he will know what he has to do to make you happy the guy does not have to listen to what 
her girl wants from other people. He should listen from the girl herself. Plus I also think that different girls have different ways in which they want to be shown love. So you just can't assume that this is what she needs. You have to ask her or let her tell you by herself how exactly she wants to be shown love. My love language might be different from yours, right? True, true. And I believe this happens to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, we, are, we, are, we are not gods, we are humans. We yeah. can't... <laughs> Even for the guys, guys should also tell their girl how they want to be loved. Because most of the time guys don't really speak up, so the girl just assumes and things don't go well. Show your love. Girls, if you love a guy, show your love. Don't just sit there with your love. And I <laughs> she's here. She's she's trained. She will represent the ladies. Yeah. Uh, now uh, tell us. Yes, girls should show their love equally. Guys should also show their love because there's no need of me showing my love and you're not showing your love. I will feel like I'm doing too much. Then I'll I'll withdraw and fall back. So both parties should equally show their love. So maybe I, I think the reason why the girl does not want to show her love is because maybe when things go bad she might say that after all I didn't show my love so there's nothing to laugh about you know to remove the embarrassment but I believe in everything we do mm -hmm. if we add the risk it adds flavor the risk of showing your love yeah of being vulnerable of, be of be vulnerability is what you're talking about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this is something that uh. not so many people embrace vulnerability and it's something that also we, if a girl is genuinely like into a guy, it's going to be easier for her to be vulnerable to that guy because this is a guy who who has the capability of, you know, like bringing out the insecurities in her. If she's not that much into someone, it won't be easy for her to be vulnerable because like the, the, how can your connection mm. but if a girl is truly connected to a guy it will be easier for her to be vulnerable like she won't even struggle like it, it she won't be able to hide it or mask it mm. it will just happen naturally vera i think some of our viewers might not understand the boundaries you see what we've just discussed here are risks yeah. so there's a thin line which dis, which divides a risk from a stu from a stupid move Right? True. So, somehow, can you tell us how we can know which one is not a risk, which one is a stupid move? Uh, it, it depends. Like, there's, we, we can't really lean towards one side because people are different mm. and people appreciate different things, people disregard different things. Mm. So, it depends with what someone actually likes. What someone likes. Mm. Are there no universal standards? Of, are there... Is there no something? Is, is is there something which we can say that is a stupid move? Is there something which we can say this is a risk? Like I just said before, people are different. Someone will appreciate one thing, someone won't appreciate the other thing. Mm. So something might be a stupid move in this relationship, but when you go to someone else, that is something they actually want more of. Mm. So we we can't have a stand. We can't have a stand. It depends with the person. You see, like that is why, like relationships go for counseling, or like when they are trying to get advice, there are things they they will actually.